Hey everyone, Obsessive Prepper AZ. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of an odd video today. I'm combining a couple things together. Um, one, I've got to put my uh, sugar that I bought into uh, my five gallon buckets and uh, I was going to show you how I seal this. But at the, as while I'm doing it, I kind of figured I would talk about guns, um, what I'm thinking about what's going on in our world today with our Second Amendment rights. And uh, I'm just going to go through a couple different things. First of all, to get started, uh, before I get into the whole gun issue, here I have got sugar that I canned. It was uh, May 2002, and I put it in number 10 cans. I wanted to show everybody what I did and the mistake that I made. I was doing so much at the time that I was doing sugar and rices and flour and all sorts of things. I was throwing oxygen absorbers into everything. And I already opened this up. I made the mistake on my one batch of putting oxygen absorbers in it. I've got like three cans left that I've got with the oxygen absorbers in it. And like I showed you, and I'll, I'll take you outside and I'll show you some of the vi uh, a video of, of what I've got out um, in my room of uh, number 10 cans and other ways I store my sugar. But uh, when you put oxygen absorbers in your sugar, your sugar is not going to go bad. But what it does is I've got one large sugar cube. And I already opened up this end so that I could show you. It is impossible to get the sugar out of it. So what I've done in the past is I've taken it where I've wedged it, I put it in a colander, a little sieve, and I've just basically had to break up my sugar. So uh, just to give you a heads up, a mistake you do not want to have to make and learn from is putting in your oxygen absorber, there I go, putting my oxygen absorbers into your sugar. And I knew better at the time, but like I said, I was doing so much stuff that I was just throwing uh, oxygen absorbers in, not even thinking about it. And uh, it's still good sugar. I did this 2012. I've just got to break it down. So moving on from that, my sugar buckets. I have done, I've got several different buckets that I put them in. This is the Lowe's bucket. Um, and then I put my uh, Mylar bags in the Lowe's buckets, and I'm going to show you what I use to seal it. Um, but while I'm sealing it, I'm going to talk about my guns. Um, this 25-pound bag fits into this Lowe's bucket. Now, I've done where I bought two 50-pound bags, and I've put them in three large buckets. So uh, it just depends on what you want. So I'm going to get all this stuff out of the way so I can seal it. Also... I, I love using my flat iron to seal my Mylar bags. You can pick these up. My, I've got, this is a cheese, so you you know, it's an expensive flat iron, but you can buy a flat iron for $20. If you don't want to buy the flat iron, using your rud, um, a regular iron um, will work just fine. All right, getting into guns. This is my Glock 26. I love my Glock. This thing goes everywhere with me. I have carried, and this is where I'm going into the second amendments, and uh, I'm going to put it away, and then as I'm doing my sugar, I'm going to talk about it. I'm 49 years old. I have carried a gun in my purse since I was 16 years old. My father, when I was a kid, was a police officer, and he had a little snub nose, and he gave it to me when I was 16. I have carried that snub nose in my purse up until probably, let's call it five years ago, when I got my Glock 26. Now, I live in Arizona. We've gone where you can't carry concealed. You have, you, um, you have to have the license, your concealed carry license. Now, 2012, it went back to where you do not have to have a concealed carry license. I've never had one. Um, you know, everybody goes down and registers. The government wants you to register. Thank God I live in Arizona. I, I love Arizona. Um, I have never been searched. I've never been warranted to be searched. I've never been pulled over where somebody's asked to look in my purse. And like I said, 16 years old, I've carried a Glock, excuse me, my snub nose 38 in my purse. 
I'm so frustrated. I'm, tr I'm trying to think and, and talk correctly about our Second Amendment rights. And then wanting to, you know, ban assault rifles and high cap magazines. Since I was 16 and I've carried a gun, I have never had to pull my gun out for any reason whatsoever. Never an inkling of it. But I am telling you what, I am not going to have the government tell me that I have not a right to protect myself or my family members. And where I get mad is that they are wanting to take these right away, rights away because you can't have high capacity and you can't have an assault rifle or you can't have this and you can't have that. And I'm mad because liberal minds force all these issues and then when something drastic happens, they stand around going, what the hell happened? Excuse me, I get so stinky angry. Slow down, slow down. So anyways, now they're wanting to ban assault rifles. You know, because, you know, we don't have a right to have them. You, you don't go deer hunting with an assault rifle. You know, you don't need that many large capacities. The fact is, you still have the right to protect you and your family. There are so many gang members. You watch the cartels in Mexico. And people that are not supposed to have guns, have guns. They are killing each other. These people have no way of defending themselves. And, and cartels are taking over Mexico. Now they're coming up over the border into Arizona, Texas, California and up into the United States. Now my family's from South Carolina and going back to South Carolina you have never seen, you would never see, you know, undocumented workers in South Carolina. Now they're in New Mexico, now they're in Texas, now they're in North Carolina, New York, whatever. But what comes with a lot of them there are good families, don't get me wrong. I know several of them, and being from Arizona, I know a lot of families that have come up. But there is a certain element that comes up with them, and that are the drug runners, and, and not even just saying your Second Amendment rights. Our, we have a right to protect ourselves. But when you have cartels and gang members that can have assault rifles, and they can use them against you, and you know, have no right and no way of defending yourself. That is where the government is wrong. And that's where the people's minds are wrong. 49 years old, I've never pulled a gun out. And thank God, I have never had to use it. But I will never be in a mall. I will never be anywhere, anywhere where I cannot protect myself. And I use those scenarios. I can't tell you where I go. When I, I go into places and I haul my gun with me. And I think about scenarios all the time. I mean, it is, it is a sad world that we live in, but I think of exit areas, going into malls, how the hell I'm going to get out of, out of the area. Okay, so anyways, my flat iron, I completely sealed my bucket. I'll put my lid on. I will put the date. I will put 25 pounds on it and uh, the lid, and I'll put it away. And at the end of this video, I'll take you outside and show you what I've done. So, uh... Going back, excellent way to seal your Mylar bag. Just works out perfect. So, and all you do is crimp and pinch. I'm going to plug that. Okay, so, whoo, i got to slow down. I, I, it just makes me so angry, and, and, and I don't mean to be that way. My Glock. And this isn't the only gun I own. I always carry an extra magazine in my purse. I will not have anybody tell me that I have no right to protect my family. Again, makes me very angry, liberal minds. I have, a, I have close people that I know that, that don't believe in them. I come from a long line of gunsmiths, um, gun shops. My grandfather, my father, we've always had guns and never have had to use them. But the circumstances today
whoops <laughs> lighter note I forgot that I was gonna take you out here and show you my uh, ways that I store my sugar so anyways uh, my number 10 cans every year a couple of years I go down I get the canner at the cannery and I will can sugar also I will put them in my buckets so I've got the Honeyville buckets and like I said those are uh, 33 pounds per bucket and then uh, I also do uh, you know other storage but I just wanted to show you that uh, I do uh, like I do everything I do I do backup so I do it number 10 cans buckets one thing or another so uh, I hope I didn't offend anybody on my video um, I just had to uh, share my thoughts so uh, again have a blessed day